Greetings, beloved. Thank you so much for joining us this week on this Melvi Bible Discussion Series. I'm your host, Melusi Ndalambi. Mm -hmm. Very privileged to bring you this week's lesson. And, and I know you've had a great time listening to the lesson we had last week. It was a privilege for me to share that with you. Mm -hmm. Now, today we have a beautiful study. Mm -hmm. We are looking at a topic that has turned the world upside down. And I'm, we're going to explain exactly what, what I mean. Mm -hmm. We are not alone in this earth. There is a system of power that is here with us and that has affected the way this world runs. We are talking about the fall. Mm. When we say the fall, we're talking about how there is a change in the original plan of God because of what happened some many years ago. And to help me to unpack this lesson is Sister Nzigi Lukomo. Greetings and welcome. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. How are you, my brother? Very well, thanks. Mm -hmm. This is your second coming. Yes. <laughs> Sounds like coming from somewhere. <laughs> I'm not, not, the, not the one as uh, Christ. As Christ, I'm but I know you were, yeah. your first debut mm -hmm. appearance mm -hmm. was in the last quarter. Mm -hmm. And I thank you so much for taking time to be here. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the lesson has a very interesting content yeah. and thrust but before we get into it i want us to pray all right let's bow our heads as we pray father god in heaven i thank you for our viewers and i thank you for those who are listening i thank you for the privilege to read your word and to get to know your acts of kindness and mercy and love towards the world as we study the fall of humanity from your grace help us to understand that it also took you to come and raise us and lift us up that we may stand on the solid rock of Christ, our Savior. Bless us now as we study, for we ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. Genesis chapter 3, mm -hmm. verse 15 says, this is God speaking, yes. after the fall. Mm -hmm. His words were, I will put enmity between you and the woman. Mm and between your seed and her seed. He shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. Mm. God is addressing these words to a serpent. Mm -hmm. As a communications person, I'm assuming the serpent had ears it could hear. Mm. <laughs> but actually, mm. when you look at a deeper spiritual level, mm. this was not actually addressed to the serpent, the one, the snake mm. we know. Mm -hmm. This was addressed to the <coughs> other power. Yes. The other being mm -hmm. who actually was the first one to fall from the state of God, which is, mm -hmm. which is Lucifer. Give us your opening mm -hmm. remarks to this whole lesson. <coughs> when we talk about the fall, what comes to your mind? Yeah. When you talk about the fall, you know, actually the serpent does come to mind because it is the actual medium Yes. Through which this power, which you have referred to, mm -hmm. you know, as the devil, he was cast out from heaven and his angels yeah. because a place for them was not found anymore. Mm. Now he came to the earth and we read in Revelation, it says, woe to the inhabitants of the earth. Yes. Because he has come down with great wrath. Well, because he knows his he time is, is short. Is short, yeah. yes. So that's exactly the scenario that comes into mind when we talk about the mm -hmm. fall. Mm -hmm. Now the devil is envious. Mm. and jealous of the blissful and beautiful home mm. the holy pair occupied mm. where God had put them in the Garden of Eden. Mm. And of course, as a jealous person who wants to win people over to his side mm. and he knows his destiny and how much time he mm. has, he needs to deceive them so that they mm. fall. Mm. Now, these were created perfect yeah. and, and holy. Mm. You know, mm. the per Adam and Eve yes. in, in, in the Garden of Eden. So he needed a medium that he could use because he could, couldn't just come. Mm. Remember, they already have a warning that woe yes. to the inhabitants of the earth. Mm. He comes down with great wrath. Yes. So they are aware of what happened in heaven. Mm. So he needs to camouflage his appearance mm. to this holy pair mm. and not just come. Mm. Uh, uh, overtly yeah. uh, as, as the devil because they would mm. definitely resist him. So yeah. he needs to craft his deception in such mm. a way that it becomes successful. Yeah, And he uses mm. a snake mm. for a medium. And now we read, you know, 
in, in Patrick's and Prophets, that mm. the snake was not this um, creature that we have it today, eating the dust of the yeah. ground, yeah. <laughs> you know, from the yes. curse that you yes. read there. Yes. It was beautiful. Mm. It had wings, it flew, you know, mm. and then it it had light also that it would emit mm. a sort of a golden light and mm. that it would emit as it was flying. It was a beautiful creature, mm. not only beautiful in appearance, but it was also the wisest. Yes, even in function. Yes, it was mm. intelligent. Mm. And now, the, having studied all the animals in the garden, the devil knew it was also closest mm. to the humans, you know, because mm. humans interacted with all these animals. Yeah. yeah, and now humans obviously have more intelligence than animals. Mm. It was the closest to humans, also, mm. it qualified itself mm. as the perfect medium through which the devil could mm. uh, 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 enter and deceive the holy pair. You know, I've always wondered of all creatures why the devil, and I like the way you've really. I mean, why the snake? Yeah. And I like the way you have explained it. I've also always wondered, why did God use a symbol of the snake in the desert? <laughs> you know? So yeah. there was something special yeah. about this creature mm -hmm. in terms of its intelligence, its function and mm. beauty and, mm, mm, you know, mm. elegance. And so we see that the devil uses a medium, which is exactly why many of us today are deceived mm. because he doesn't come fully blazing mm -mm. with horns mm -mm. and a tail. No. He comes as the most exquisite, beautiful, well su successful, well groomed, and yeah. well nourished person mm -hmm. offering church. something great. Mm -hmm. But here is the deception. Mm. The Bible says Adam and Eve, when God created them, Genesis 2, he created the male and female female. Oh, yes. In his image, image God always. made them. Mm -hmm. But listen to the devil when he comes. Hmm. Did God say you should not eat any of these trees? Hmm. Mm -hmm. If he says no, we can eat all of them, but not of that one. Mm. And he says no. God knows that when you eat it, you shall be like him. Hmm. Hello? Hmm. Like him? Hmm. Were we not already created in his image already? Exactly. So, the devil will mm. always deceive you to make you think that you'll be something better mm. when you're already that. Mm. Mm -hmm. You will be like God, but you're already created like God. In his image and in his likeness. Yeah. Do this <laughs> and you'll be happy, but I'm already happy. Exactly. Mm. <laughs> okay. Mm. So the fall we see here that it was a tragic experience oh, that yeah. happened because its coming in was as a result of a deception. A deception indeed. Here's the most difficult thing about the fall. The Bible says Eve was tempted, and she says it. Mm. The snake. Mm. Mm. But Adam was not tempted. Mm. 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 He went through a serious cognitive dissonance experience and ended up settling for the dissonance. <laughs> <laughs> he was not deceived. He knew what he was doing. Mm -hmm. But the most important thing I also noted was the Bible says Eve, when he had a dialogue with the devil, because there was a dialogue that ensued yes. there. Did God say this? Mm -hmm. In the end, the Bible says when she looked at the fruit, she, she then reasoned mm. and said, this fruit must be good and one that must be desired mm. Mm. to make one wise. Mm. The challenge I have, Sister Nsiki, is that the moment we start to rationalize mm. about a condition that we know the Bible says, thou shalt not, mm. we are lost. Absolutely. And the deception is one that we may not actually recover from. But let's mm. talk a little bit about the serpent. Mm -hmm. Genesis chapter 3, <coughs> uh, verse 1, has this to say about the agency that the devil used. Mm. Mm. Now, this is what the Bible says. Now, the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. Mm. And he said to the woman, mm. has God indeed said you shall not eat of every tree of the garden? What, had, what on earth had the snake to do with what God said? Well, 
It looks like it's the tendency of the devil because we must always remember that this mm. is the devil speaking through the snake. Okay. Mm -hmm. It looks like it is the tendency of the devil to continuously quote or misquote the word of God. All right. Because we do yes. see here that the devil is aware and knows the word of God. Mm. And um, so he was aware that there was a commandment that God had put, put for Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. And in order for them to yield into the temptation and become mm. weak, you know, mm. and no longer have the power and the yes. disposition to resist mm. the devil himself, they needed to yield to the temptation. Mm. Now he misquotes and he, 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 he brings doubt because this is posed as a question. Mm. Did God say this? Did he really say this? Mm. This is God who spoke and this is his commandment. And you know, yeah. you already know the consequences of disobeying because yeah. they knew that should we disobey, yeah. uh, this is the result. It, it looks like, Sister Sigi, <clears throat> some of these questions we are always posed with or asked mm -hmm. to answer. Mm -hmm. we, some of them we, know, we don't need to answer. Not them. at all. We don't need to answer. You must choose your wars very yeah, carefully. exactly. Because some of them are a trap. Yeah. We see it even in the life of Jesus. Mm -hmm. The lawyers come to him, Master, is it mm. lawful for us to divorce our wives? Mm. Saying so, so they can trap him. Yes. Master, we've caught her red handed. Her mm -hmm. The, the law, law says, says, <laughs> says, what have you got to say? Mm -hmm. Did God say? Agents of the devil speaking. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Now, <clears throat> the interesting thing about the snake is that it was said to be cunning. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about this, this trait of being cunning. Mm-hmm. It's a trait that says you are very quick to see the weakness and to manipulate it. Mm -hmm. Or you are very quick to see the opportunity and to capitalize on it. Yeah. All right? Mm -hmm. It's like um, how animals hunt. Mm -hmm. They might be too powerful and they could just come blazing at you and kill you, but they hide. And they use stealth movements. And they observe you. Mm -hmm. And they know when you are like this, you are stronger. When you are like that, you may beat them. Mm -hmm. And they look for the opportunity when you are not mm -hmm. looking and you are at a less advantageous. That's a cunning mm -hmm. uh, trait of animals. So a cunning person is one who is very shrewd, mm -hmm. can see opportunities and yeah capitalize on them. Mm -hmm. Now, someone who's cunning obviously has a very strong analytical sense, mm -hmm. very analytical, mm -hmm. and very particular in terms of how they operate. Um, and they'll never let go of their target easily. Mm -hmm. A cunning person, you can't put their eyes off what they want. Now, the devil used that kind of a person. Uh, I mean, the character, he loves such kind of people because he gains a lot from them, mm -hmm. cunning people. Mm -hmm. Interestingly, uh, another trait I saw here was that in the, in the book of Genesis, it begins with the real snake. But by the time you get to Revelation chapter 12, mm -hmm. the snake is now defined and described as the old serpent, the devil himself. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what that said to me was, Serpenthood, as much as it is an animal we call a serpent, mm -hmm. serpenthood is a satanic trait. Mm. So who's a real satanist? It's anyone who's used by the devil. Yeah, yeah. Because a snake ended up being a symbol of Satan. Yeah. By the end of the Bible. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Which means you don't have to dwell in hell or a hot place to be a satanist. You just need to be someone who is used by. Mm and have the traits of mm -hmm. the devil. Mm -hmm. Anything you might, might want to add on the snake or the serpent? I wanted to focus, zoom in on the actual deception because he says mm. you will not surely die. Mm. Now he is going for the consequence because right. Eve has answered the question, unfortunately, uh -huh. you know, which, God, was, God which she was not supposed to answer <laughs> exactly. according to me and you. Exactly. Because there's just some questions in you fact, should not In fact, I want, I want to insist to our viewers out there that there are certain debates you don't need even to be engaged in. Yeah. There are certain accusations and there are certain communications that reach you <laughs> that you don't have to dignify with a response. Yes. Yeah. Leave them. 
you shall not surely die. Mm. That's what he says. Now, this is the first great deception. Mm. The first sermon that he preached on the immortality of the soul. Mm. And we've seen this idea of the immortality of the soul, you know, rocking Harvard across the world. Whether wow. you're in Europe, you see people taking flowers to the graves and talking. Yes. Because they have this idea that a person, when they've died, mm. they are not surely dead. Mm. There's some life after death. Mm. As for us Africans, the notion of Amalos and all those things. Mm. This is the first sermon the yeah. devil preached to Eve. Yes. That when God said you will die, if he was lying to you, mm. you will not surely die. Mm. So he plants doubt in the minds of the of of Eve mm -hmm. to question God's word. Yeah. I like it because one of the modern traits of the generation we live in, whether it be the Generation X or the Millennials or mm -hmm. whichever, mm -hmm. they are being taught to question everything. And the lesson does say here, um, he, he said, has God said? That's has questioning God. the authority of what he said. Mm -hmm. Quotes the Bible. So, so questioning everything is not a sign of intelligence. No. Sometimes it's a sign of a deceptive, deceptive character. Deceptive character. Right. If and you are the son of God, casting exactly. doubt again. Mm. And the other point that really moved my mind was, if Satan was able to deceive a sinless Eve mm. and mm. In, in a perfect environment called mm. Eden, what are the chances we have today? As who are conceived. Who are already conceived in, in sin. sin. Mm -hmm. And so I think this helped me to settle to the fact that I I am not a sinner. I am seen. Sinner is the act of someone doing it. Yes. But Paul says, "O oh, wretched men that I am, who I shall am. deliver me from the this, sin? Mm -hmm. This body of sin. This body of so sin. we are putting on a body mm -hmm. that is capable, mm -hmm. that has potential." Mm -hmm. To sin. So if it was easy, or should I say, if Satan was successful with yet the holy people, a, a perfect person. why do you think we will survive his, his attacks? I'm not saying our viewers must answer it, but I want them to see mm -hmm. that we are in a worse condition than Adam and Eve yes, was. Yes, absolutely. David acknowledges that also. Exactly. He says, behold, yeah. I was shaken, shaken and in iniquity. In iniquity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the, let's talk a little bit about the agency used by Satan to deceive them. In this case, we're talking about the forbidden fruit. Mm -hmm. Forbidden fruit. Mm. Why did he go for the forbidden fruit? There were many others. Mm. Why go for that forbidden fruit? And, and, and what are the differences here when you look at the, the statements that are used? Uh, in, in deceiving the woman. Particularly, I'm referring to Genesis chapter 2, mm -hmm. verse 16 and 16. Let me maybe read it, then I'll allow you to comment on okay. it. Uh, chapter 2, verse 16 says, And the Lord commanded the man, saying, yeah, Of every tree, yes, mm -hmm. of the garden you may freely eat, mm -hmm. but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil mm -hmm. shall not eat. For in the day that you shall eat of it, you shall surely die. I shall surely die. Let's talk a little bit about this forbidden fruit or tree that mm. they were not supposed to, to, to touch or to eat. Your yeah. thoughts on that? So this is God's commandment that he's given to both Adam and Eve, mm -hmm. that this is the forbidden fruit. Do not touch it or eat it. Mm -hmm. Now, um, this... You don't need to put uh, an actual fruit. You can think of any fruit, yeah. okay, banana, apple, or whatever. But mm -hmm. this is the forbidden fruit. But what is important for me concerning the forbidden fruit is that this is God's commandment. Mm. This is the commandment of God. Mm. And if God has issued a commandment, ours mm. is to obey. Now mm. we know the devil that he was against God's government. Because mm. any government is governed through its laws, right? Mm. Now, God's government has its commandments that sh its subjects should obey. Mm -hmm. The devil is in direct uh, 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 mm -hmm. uh, attack mm -hmm. of God's uh, government. And so it was yeah. important for him to go for the forbidden fruit because mm. he knew that this That's is where the way word of God is. is. And then disobedience to this is my victory as the yes. devil. So now it makes sense that the Bible has been so much attacked yes. the world over. Mm -hmm. And many of the temptations that we suffer 
today. Mm -hmm. Even Jesus himself, yeah. one of the temptations was he quoted scripture mm -hmm. and said it is written mm -hmm. that when you cast yourself down, mm -hmm. angels will what? Come and rescue Host you yeah. up. Mm -hmm. So he quotes scripture but twists mm -hmm. it. And yeah. we now see the war against the Bible. Yeah. That if the Bible is a summary of the word of God to us for our salvation, mm. the devil will want to make sure mm. that word is attacked and it's never used. Mm. And um, so he attacks us on the points of our commandments. Yes. That's a powerful point. Now, let's talk a little bit about um, hiding before God. So they mm. take the fruit. Mm -hmm. Things change immediately. Yeah. But they don't die immediately. immediately. Yeah. But something drastically changed because Genesis chapter 3 then says uh, Adam and Eve, when they ate, they discovered that they were naked. Mm. It means something left mm -hmm. or something was removed. Mm. Or was it a veil? Covering. The covering. Mm -hmm. And then they discovered they were naked. Mm -hmm. And then they, they mm -hmm. ran away from God when he came. Yeah. Absolutely. The condition of a fallen person. Yes, that yeah. is Your exactly, on that. exactly our condition. Our condition is that of nakedness. Mm. As, we, as we sit here between me and you, mm. we might be clothed in these uh, garments yes. that we are wearing, but our condition, because we are sinners mm. and we have fallen short of the glory of God, yes. which was their covering. Their mm. covering was the glory of God. Mm -hmm. Now we are sinners and we have fallen short of the glory of God or come short of the glory of God. We are naked. That is mm. our condition. We need uh, 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 righteousness by faith, yes. not righteousness by works, works. Mm. because they went for fig leaves, you know, to mm. cover their nakedness. Now mm. that's righteousness by works. Yeah. You are trying to, to, mm -hmm. to, to, to make yourself right with yeah. God through mm. your own works mm. by putting on fig leaves. Yeah. But then we need mm. God's own righteousness to cover us, to cover us again because yes. his glory has divided from us mm. now that mm. we've become sinners. I think God is still mm -hmm. coming down. <laughs> yes. Because the Bible says... God came in the cool of the day in the garden. Mm -hmm. That's Genesis chapter 3. Yes, verse 9. Verse, uh, Where verse are 9. You? Yeah, he came. And okay. I think God is still coming, even in our day. Oh, yes, and seeking for us. And he's still asking, Where are you? Melusi, where are you? And I think it was not, it, it was not, it, it was not a question that was uh, based on location. No. He was not asking for where they are because mm -hmm. they were hiding before God. That's what the lesson is saying. <laughs> hiding right in the sight or hiding in plain sight. Yeah. And then God asks a question, Adam, where are you? Mm. I believe he was not asking about location, but he was asking Adam, mm -hmm. where are you in terms of your You're righteousness? With me. Yes. Mm. Are you still on the same point of obedience? Mm -hmm. Perhaps he's asking a mother out there, where are you mm. in terms of being a role model to your to your babies or your children. Mm -hmm. Perhaps he's asking one man out there, are you still where you are supposed to be in terms of your life, your marriage, mm -hmm. and sin? Mm -hmm. So this was not a question for location, but a question of the status of the person as, in, as it relates to... His standing with his maker. Exactly. Mm. But again, it reveals the mindset of a sinner. Mm. Don't be surprised when people find it difficult to come to church or to just attend prayer meetings. Mm. Don't judge them because they know their heart's condition. I mean, I always ask young people, how, where do you get the strength mm -hmm. to go watch pornography mm. and then come and preach and sing in church? Honestly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Adam ran away. Because he mm -hmm. knew his condition does not deserve to be in the presence of the Lord. Absolutely. Where do we get the guts mm -hmm. to go out and be promiscuous out there mm -hmm. and still come to church and say, Hallelujah, God is good. Mm -hmm. I read a very... Mm -hmm. well, it's this, a form of godliness, but denying the power. Mm -hmm. I read a sad story of someone who said uh, a cheating husband went to his girlfriend. Uh, he's a Sabbath keeper. He says, uh, you remember I'm a vegetarian. I don't eat meat. Mm. But he's actually at the house of a woman he's not married to. 
and he's even saying I'm a vegetarian. Mm. The daringness oh. of modern sinners. Adam, because he knew his condition, mm. he ran away. But here's the good thing. God came searching for them. Oh. God is the one who always comes. Oh. You can never run away from the love, oh. the mercy, the mm. goodness, and the mm. grace of God. David mm. even said, where can I, if I make my bed in hell, you are there. You are there. If I went under the ocean, you, you are all, oh, where can I hide oh, from your presence? Mm. So I want to tell someone out there that, yes, you may be hiding in your home and thinking no one is seeing you. Mm. Yes, you may be closing your door in your bathroom, in your toilet, and doing whatever you're doing. <clears throat> but God sees, that's why he's mm. God, gold, God, Elroy. He sees. he sees. Darkness is like light to him. Mm. And so the beauty of what is happening here is that God is not intimidated by our sin. No. He's not. Mm -mm. In fact, he said, I'll be, the promise oh, which yes. we'll talk about which, now yes, yes, yes. is I will come mm. and help you crush. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a seed. Exactly. Mm -hmm. There's a seed that's going to come. So and God he is not. Mm, yeah, is he, going to crush he, the he's head. not. Yes. Mm. And so we should not blame ourselves. Mm -hmm. We were born in sin. Mm -hmm. We should not blame those who fall. Mm. They are overcome by their temptations. Mm. But what must we do? We must acknowledge our sin. Oh yes. But but <laughs> the, the interesting thing is, let's talk about the fat of the serpent, but also of Adam and Eve. Mm. Because the lesson is very clear here mm. from Genesis chapter 3, verse 15. Uh, God is speaking. He says, I'll mm. put an enmity. Yeah. yeah. I will put an enmity, enmity between you and the, and the woman, and, the and woman. between the seed of the woman. He shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his, his heel. heel. Mm -hmm. mm. Talk us a little bit about you know, about that. We, we serve a wonderful God Amen. because he does not condemn us. Condemnation comes after, but what he mm. is interested to do is to bring the plan of salvation mm. and foreground that first for us, yeah. even yeah. in our state of sinfulness, mm. you know, to give us hope yeah. that, look, it's not all doom and gloom for mm. you. Yeah. I will curse everything else. I'll curse the ground. I'll curse the serpent mm. and all these things. But as for you, I'll yes. deal with you mercifully. Mm. by bringing in the plan of redemption. Amen. This is the plan of redemption. Mm. As your seed yeah. will come and yes. will crush mm. uh, his, his mm. head. Mm. Now, if you crush the head of, 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 yes. of a serpent, it's over yes. with the serpent yes. co compared to crushing the heel mm. of the seed. Yeah. You know? So, God comes and addresses all of them. Yeah. Adam, where are you? Yeah. In that question was Eve included. Mm. Adam and Eve, where are you? Yeah. Accountability. Yes. God will make us accountable one day. Mm. This is judgment. Yes. Account for what you yes. did. Yes. Oh, the wife you gave me. <laughs> I <laughs> wish I had a, I wish this was a family life discussion. <laughs> I will take you to town on just that statement. Yeah. The woman you gave me. Mm. That's violence in the family right there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> That's domestic violence. Mm -hmm. That's accusing someone of yeah. causing you to do something yeah. and saying, you deal with that one. It's not me. Mm. Isn't that what always happens in our marriages? Mm. When you see Blame two game. people who are divorcing, mm. I've never seen a person who divorces who says, but he's a good person. They're always bashing the mm -hmm. other person. They did this to me. They did it's this. finger pointing. Exactly. It, and it's never pointing at you. That's seen at its best. Mm. Now, then God says to Eve, what is it? Eve pushes the... The serpent. Serpent, what is it? <laughs> Fortunately, he couldn't push it to <laughs> anyone, to anyone else. Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. But the beautiful story is that after he went through all of this, verse um, 21 says... Also for Adam and his wife, mm -hmm. the Lord God made tunics of skin oh, yes. and clothed them. Mm. And then God said, behold, the man has become like one of us, knowing good and evil. Now let us put out the hand and take also of the tree of life. And now lest he put out his hand and take also of the tree of life and eat mm. and live forever. Therefore, the Lord God sent out into the garden 
Um, so he put angels mm, to God, and he drove them out out of their beautiful home. Sin mm. will always deprive you of your God-given privileges, mm. resources, and rights. Mm. Sin takes mm. that away. Mm. Secondly, God is the one who ultimately will deal with sin. Yes. No human being in any of their attempt will be able to mm. achieve that. And that's why we see him here mm. killing the lamb mm. and dressing them up, mm. a symbol mm. of what he's going to do in future. Mm. So the destiny of humanity does not end with sin triumphing. Mm -mm. The destiny of humanity mm. or the result of the fall mm. is that while it may have alienated us from God, mm. it revealed the plan of salvation that God has always had. Maybe mm. let's wrap our lesson on that. Mm -hmm. and talk a little bit about how did God redeem humanity from the fall that we went through. Yeah, so there is no remission of sin mm -hmm. without the shedding of blood. Mm -hmm. That was the very lesson God was teaching them when he was removing the fig leaves, mm. righteousness by works, mm. and putting on the, the skin, the animal skin, mm. you know, which had died on their behalf, mm. to say righteousness by faith, okay? You must believe that yeah. the seed will come, mm. okay, to redeem mm. you from this condition. Yeah. And indeed, Jesus Christ is that seed who came mm. and died on the cross and shed his precious blood for us. Mm. So that was the plan of redemption fulfilled at the cross of Calvary. Yeah. And Jesus Christ is in heaven mm -hmm. right now as a high priest ministering on our behalf, mm. you know. Mm. In a process that we call since 1844, the investigative judgment. He's mm. asking, like you said, yeah. individually for all of us in this world, where are you? Where are you? Mm. Where are you? Mm. And he wants us to come and not finger point and blame game, but to come mm. and acknowledge our sin and say, we have sinned before yes. you. Amen. And Amen. we ask for forgiveness. Amen. Now, when I looked at... Um, the original intent of God being broken. Mm. It changed the dynamics of relationships between male and female. Mm. Though they were created in the image of oh, God. They were equal. Mm -hmm. the, yeah, so Eve was not designed that he should be inferior no. or superior, mm. but he was an equal mm. to mm. Adam. To Adam before the fall. But sin changed everything. Oh, yes. So after he has done his audit trail, Mm. of what happened. Not that you didn't know, he wasn't, he wasn't aware. He was, just wanted them to acknowledge. He then said to the serpent, you're cursed. Mm -hmm. You will have to eat mm -hmm. the dust of mm -hmm. the earth. He then said to Eve, because you heard the voice of the serpent, mm. I'll multiply your pain in, in child childbirth. Mm -hmm. If there's a woman who's smiling at their birth, oh, please no. do let me know. Mm -hmm. Not a single one. <laughs> no one. Mm -hmm. In fact, I hear if you are a man and you are in that labor ward, you faint. You might faint. I remember when my child was born, the mm. doctor simply said, Mr. Njalambi, if you perform funny things there and you fall, we will not even come to you. Yeah. B because be behave. Mm -hmm. Now, the point therefore is that when he came to Eve, yeah. God shifted something inside Eve, mm. changed her mm. reproductive mm. biological clock and the mm. way she, she opened. Be in pain. I still am to ask God mm. why he didn't do the same to Adam. Mm. But the Bible says when he looked at Adam, mm. he cursed the he ground. He cursed the ground. Not Adam. No. Because of you, the ground is cursed. Mm -hmm. You have to work and sweat it out. Sure. What you used to pick easy. Yeah. So disobedience is very costly. Absolutely. And that's the message I'm getting here. Mm -hmm. Any final thoughts you might have before we close? Oh, yes. You know, God is a wonderful God that we serve because mm -hmm. he does not bring judgment. That was the highlight for me in this mm. lesson, that he brings uh, the plan of redemption yes. to our knowledge first before yes. the cases. The cases mm. follow after. So this is a merciful God. Mm. And we must take advantage of his mercy and yeah. uh, by, by, by doing the right things, you know, yes. and not rebelling mm -hmm. by asking his mercies to enable us yeah. to obey his commandments. Yeah. Mm. So maybe for me, it's to say to our viewers out there, mm -hmm. you know yourself. Mm -hmm. You know the challenges you have to deal with. You know where you are fallen. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Jesus simply says, repent. Oh, yes. Come to the cross. Mm -hmm. Jesus is saying, I have won the battle for you. Mm. Yes, you know exactly where you are fallen. And you have no power to change. You've tried it. You haven't mm -mm. been able to do it. Today I'm here to tell you that there's a man called Jesus. He is able. Mm. Exceedingly able. Abundantly able to do mm. all of the things you can ask him to do for you. So as mm. we pray at this moment, I want you to dedicate yourself to Christ and say, Help me in my fallen state oh, yes. that I may still believe mm -hmm. in the promise of Jesus who said he will save us. Mm -hmm. Would you pray for us as we close? Let us pray. Our kind and heavenly Father, we thank you for the plan of salvation, dear Lord, that you presented when our, when our state, dear Father, mm. was seemingly hopeless. You intervened with a mighty plan. Mm. Oh, dear God, this is our earnest plea at this moment that you help us and assist us mm. to gain victory over sin because sin separates us from you. Mm. Help us, dear Father, and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.